Hello everyone, in this session I will share with you another non-continuous function that is the unit impulse function. Since the unit impulse function was introduced by an English physician, the unit impulse function is sometimes known as the direct delta function. Unit impulse function is the function represented by delta t minus a equal to the limits epsilon goes to 0, f epsilon t minus a. Okay, in which the delta t minus a is when t equal to a is equal to infinity. When t not equal to a is goes to 0. And the integration from 0 to infinity, delta t minus a dt is equal to 1. Here is an example for the delta function. For the function delta t minus a, when t not equal to a is equal to 0. When t equal to a, it goes to the infinity. And this is the function for the delta t. Delta t, when t equal to 0, it goes to infinity. And t not equal to 0, it goes to 0. And this is the shifting property of the unit impulse response. Let f be the function that is the continuous on the whole line. This means that ft is a function, is a continuous uh, function. Whereas delta t minus a is a single line, is a one signal at t equal to a. Then uh, if ft is a function of ft multiplied with the function of delta t minus a is only equal to the f, okay, and at the function or uh, at the location at, of a. So it means that the A is in between P and Q. Now, let's look at the example. Evaluate the integration from 2 to 5, t power of 3 plus 3, delta t minus 4, dt. So for this question, there is a delta t minus 4. This means the impulse response occur at t equal to 4. So the a also equal to 4. This is within the 2 and 5, the limits. Okay, the limits 2 and 5. Okay, if you look at the shifting property, okay, ft delta t minus a. So if you compare with this one, this is referred to the a. Okay, therefore my a here is 4. So decode to FA and A should be in between the P and Q. Okay. So A is 4, so it is in between the A and Q. The P and Q, so it's the 2 and 5. So I write here FT. Okay, because we want to find the F the we know the FT here. So this is equal to T power 3 plus 3. And we need to know the FA. FA means that the F at the location A. The A is 4, so FA is F4. This means that the FT is uh, T power of 3 plus 3. So T is equal to 4, right? T is equal to 4. So we have 4 power of 3 plus 3. So this is equivalent to 67. And then by using the result of uh, integration p q f t delta t minus a d t equal to f a, so we will have the uh, two over five t over three plus three delta t minus four equal to sixty seven. Now let's look at the second example. The integration 1 to 3 exponent 2t delta t minus 1 over 2 dt. Delta t minus 1 over 2. The impulse occur at t equal to 1 over 2. And if you check with the limits, it is not within the limits. Within the limits of p and q. So because p is 1, q is 3, and yet the t is only 1 over 2, so not within the p and q. So therefore, 
the integration 1 to 3 exponent 2t delta t minus 1 over 2 dt is equal to 0. If not within the limits, that is 0. The third question, integration from 0 to infinity, sine 3t delta 2t minus pi dt. For this question, delta 2t minus pi, okay, we cannot do directly like previous. So by substituting, okay, we assume the u is equal to 2t and this uh, t goes to u over 2. And we differentiate the t, we get dt over du, which is equal to 1 over 2. Okay, for here, when we substitute the t equal to 0, u also equal 0. And when t goes to infinity, u also infinity. And then now we can substitute in, okay, from the question, 0 to infinity, integrate 0 from infinity, sine 3t delta 2t minus pi dt. So this is the question. Okay, then uh, sine 3t, so the t is substitute with u over 2. So 3u over 2 delta, okay, 2t change to u, dt change to du over 2. So this is equivalent to, we take out the 1 over 2 here because it's a constant. So 1 over 2. Integration 0 to infinity sine 3u over 2. Then delta u minus pi du. From here, we know that the a is equal to pi. So f u is equal to the sine 3u over 2. Okay. And then the f a equal to the f pi equal to the sine 3 pi over 2. So we substitute the u with the pi. So this is equal to negative 1. So the result is uh, integration from 0 to infinity sine 3 pi delta 2 pi minus uh, 2t minus pi equal to half because just now we remain this half and then we multiply with the answer negative 1. So this is equal to negative half. And the last question is the integration from 0 to 2 pi cos 3t delta t plus 1 over 2 pi dt. In this question, the delta t plus pi over 2, this means the impulse occur at t equal to minus pi over 2. So the a is equal to 1 over negative 1 over 2 pi. So a is not within the 0 to 2 pi range because there is a minus pi over 2. It's not within the range here. So therefore, the integration 0 to 2 pi cos 3t delta t plus pi over 2 dt is, is equal to 0 because it's not within the range. Now, let's look at the Laplace transform of the unit impulse function. This is a theorem. The Laplace transform of unit impulse function is given by Laplace transform of delta t minus a equal to integration from 0 to infinity exponent negative st delta t minus a dt is equal to the exponent negative a s. Okay, and the Laplace transform of the ft delta t minus a is equal to the fa delta uh, exponent negative a s. Now we go to the example. Evaluate the Laplace transform of the delta t minus 3 minus delta t minus 6. From the theorems, we know that the Laplace transform of delta t minus a equal to the exponent negative a s. 
Okay, so if you compare with this one, we know that the A here is referred to 3. So this part we have the exponent negative 3s. And whereas this one, the A is equal to 6. So equal to exponent negative 6s. So that's it for this question. Then we move to next. Second question, Laplace transform of at delta t minus 2. This question, the add is equal to the constant, so add, we can take it out. And then we Laplace transform of delta t minus 2. It is the same again. So delta t minus 2, we can get exponent negative 2s. Next question is the Laplace transform of delta t plus 5. In this question, the del delta t plus 5, this means the a is equal to negative 5. So the value is not within the interval from 0 to infinity. If you go back to the Laplace transform uh, of the unit impulse function, okay, it's uh, from 0 to infinity exponent negative st delta t minus a then we'll go to this one but this question is delta plus it's not delta minus so a is equal to negative 5 which is not in the interval from 0 to infinity so the plus transform of the delta t plus 5 is equal to 0 Example D, Laplace transform of the exponent t delta 2t minus 3. From here, delta 2t minus 3, we assume that the u is equal to 2t. Okay, and when and t is equal to u over 2, and differentiate the t, we get dt over du is equal to 1 over 2. And for this part, when t equal to 0, u also equal to 0, and t equal to infinity, u also infinity. So this is for use of limits. So Laplace transform of the exponent t delta 2t minus 3. We substitute the 2t with the 2u. So exponent t Exponent t, we can substitute with the exponent u over 2. And this uh, 2t with u. And it's uh, from integration 0 to infinity. So we can get the exponent negative st and then exponent u over 2 delta u minus 3 dt. This means that when we have this format, okay, Laplace transform on delta u minus 3, okay, that is uh, this one, then we can get this form as equivalent to 0 to infinity delta minus st, uh, exponent minus st delta t minus a. Okay. So that's why we get the integration 0 to infinity exponent negative st delta u minus 3. This one is like a constant. So now we can continue. This is equivalent to 0 to infinity exponent negative s. We can combine and then u over 2 t because uh, t is u over 2 so we substitute the value and then this is also u over 2 delta u minus 3 du we change to the dt to du over 2 and then 1 over 2 here this one is a constant we take it out 0 to infinity and then we can combine this one exponent 1 over 2 minus s over 2 u 
then D delta U minus 3 DU. So the function of delta U minus 3 here uh, show that the impulse occur at U equal to 3 or A equal to 3. So this means that the F U is equal to the exponent 1 over 2 minus S over 2 U. Okay, so this is the F U. And then hence the F A is equal to the exponent 1 over 2 minus S over 2. The U substitute with the 3. So by using the result of the, the integration P and Q F D delta T minus A D D equal to F A, we can say that this question is equal to 1 over 2, 0 to infinity. Okay, we copy back. And then exponent s over 2 u delta u minus 3 du is equal to 1 over 2 exponent 3 1 over 2 minus s over 2. This is the answer. Okay. This one, we take this one, is from here. Question E is the Laplace transform of T squared delta t 3 minus T. For this question, we can rearrange the Laplace transform. So there is a Laplace transform of T squared delta. So this minus 3, okay, we move to the front. So minus T plus 3. Okay, so for this part, we can assume that the u is equal to minus t and t is equal to minus u. And then dt over du is equal to minus 1. And then from here, we say that when t equal to 0, u also equal to 0. And when t equal to infinity, u is equal to minus infinity. So this is the use for the the use of limit. So Laplace transform of t square delta 3 minus t is equal to Laplace transform of okay t square we can change to minus u square okay and delta minus t okay 3 minus 3 minus t so t plus u. This is because the minus t here is referred to u. So t is 3 plus u. So therefore, the integration is from 0 to infinity exponent negative st u square delta u plus 3 dt okay when you change to the function of u okay, with respect to u because this u is from 0 to negative infinity so this means it's a negative infinity to u so bear in mind that integration 0 to infinity is equivalent to negative negative infinity to 0 so now we change from integration 0 to infinity to negative integration minus infinity to 0. So this is neg negative minus infinity to 0. Then, then this one all change to the u format, u form. Okay, this is minus u, u square delta u plus 3, negative du. So this is equivalent to negative infinity to zero, and this negative can multiply with negative, so we cancel out. Then we left exponent s u u square delta u plus three du. 
So from here, we know that this function uh, show that the impulse occur at u equal to minus 3 or the a is equal to minus 3. So f u equal to exponent s u u squared. So the f a equal to f minus 3 is equal to the exponent negative exponent s minus 3 multiply with minus 3 and then u also substitute with minus 3 square so this is equivalent to 9 exponent negative 3s so at the end the result is a plus transfer on t square delta t minus t is equivalent to 9 exponent negative 3s And then the last question, Laplace transform of uh, t squared delta minus t minus 3 minus t. This question is slightly different from the question E. If question E, that is the Laplace transform of the t squared delta minus t plus 3. Okay. If we take out the negative, because negative there, negative t there is referred to the folded version. So this negative we can take out as a negative t plus negative t minus 3. So this is still referred to the minus t plus 3. And here the t is equal to 3. So this t equal to 3 is within the limits of from 0 to infinity. But if you look at this question f, okay, this is also the folded version. Okay, we take out the negative here. We can say that the negative t plus 3. Okay, negative t plus 3. So if you multiply in, we still have the negative t, negative 3. It's the same like this. But if you look at here, if negative t plus 3, this one, the t is equal to minus 3. So this minus 3 is not within the range from 0 to infinity. So therefore, the Laplace transform of this one is equal to 0. So this is because not due to, not, uh, it is because the a or the t is equal to minus 3. So not in the range of 0 to infinity. So Laplace transform of t squared delta minus t minus 3 minus t is equal to 0. Okay. So that's all for the Laplace transform of the unit impulse response. Hope you can understand and thank you for watching my video. Thank you.